Hi, this is just a quick tutorial to show you how to use the repeat key. What I want to do is I want to make the font color for my headings a different color than black so that they stand out. Now to do that with the quick keys, I use the alt key and the tiles come up under each one of the tabs here that I can go into. The font color is over here, so it's in the home tab. So I'm going to use the H and then FC because that those are the letters that are underneath the font color. And then I'm going to use the down arrow key and go over to the color that I want. I want them to be blue. So once I do that, then I go to the next heading and just use my control Y key. So it saves steps basically by now I only have to use the control Y and it has remembered the last function that I performed. Now if I wanted to make these bold as well, unfortunately I cannot do that at the same time as I, I, what I'm saying is, is that I, it won't record more than one step. If you wanted to record more than one step, then what I would suggest that you do is record a macro. And I do have a tutorial on my YouTube channel on how to record a macro. So I hope this helps you. And what I should have done if I wanted them bold is once I had it done is just use the control B keys and, um, and that those, that's the quick key for bolding and really that is only that that doesn't take long as well so I don't think I would record a macro for just bolding but if I wanted to bold underline italicize and do a whole bunch of steps I would record a macro and a macro is basically like a like a tape recorder is it records everything that you say only a macro in word records your keystrokes okay so i hope this helps you and have a great day don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel